we have a superior view of a right talus. And what we're looking at, we just turn it so we're now looking more at the anterior aspect. This is the articular surface of the head of the talus. And so just behind the head, we have the neck. And then behind that, posterior to that, we have the body. Now this surface here on the body, the superior surface, is actually the trochlear surface of the talus. Okay, so that's the trochlear surface, is the top of the body. And remember, trochlear means pulley shape. So if we turn it so we're looking at an anterior point of view again, you can see, if you use your imagination, that you could, there's a bit of an indentation there, and you could, in theory, run a rope through, <laughs> through that indentation like a pulley, like you would on a pulley. So that's the trochlear surface, but it's the superior aspect of the body as well. Um, then we've got a lateral process. Now the lateral process is visible here, and that immediately tells you which side of the bone you're looking at. So if you're looking at a talus, it doesn't really have any process that sticks out on the medial side, but it does on the lateral side, and that's where the um, lateral malleolus would be attaching there, or articulating there. So that's the lateral process of the talus. And then, on the posterior aspect, this whole bit here is called the posterior um, tubicle, oh, sorry, posterior process. So the posterior process has two tubicles, a lateral one and a medial one. So there's two tubicles there, and in between them, there's a groove, and that groove is for the flexor hallucis longus tendon. So, whole thing is the posterior process, lateral tubicle on the same side as the lateral process, and then the medial tubicle on the other side, in between groove for flexor hallucis longus tendon. All right, and then uh, if we then look at the inferior surface of the talus, so we turn it right over and have a look at the inferior surface, we've got a big facet here, which is the posterior facet for the calcaneus. Then we've got a groove, okay, a sulcus in there. That's the sulcus tali. Okay, it's the groove or sulcus on the talus, so it's the sulcus tali. And then anterior to that, we have a middle and then anterior articular facet for the calcaneus. Now, notice that they're uh, connected, so, so they're continuous with each other. And also the anterior one. I'm not sure how well the anterior one shows up. It's a little facet here. Just trying to turn it so we can catch the light, but I'm not sure that we can. But notice that it too is continuous with the articular surface of the head, of the talus. So which anatomical joint are those facets part of? No, anatomical. Which anatomical joint are they part of? It's the talocalcaneonavicular joint. So this is the talus. These bits are going to articulate with the calcaneus. This bit articulates with the navicular. So this is one way of looking at the articular surfaces of the talocalcaneonavicular joint, which is an anatomical joint. So one joint capsule surrounds all of this and it articulates with two other bones. Whereas this is the anatomical subtalar joint. And remember, what, what travels, what's sitting in this sulcus in a living individual? An interosseous talocalcaneal ligament. Because remember, we also have a sulcus like this on the calcaneus. When you put the two together, you get a, a tunnel and in that tunnel sits a ligament. So there's one anatomical joint here and another one here, and they're separated from each other by this tunnel and the ligament that sits in it. And that's it. That's it for the talus. We've seen all the features we need to see on it.